Good morning, everybody. Good morning, sir. 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 Good morning, sir.
Can I start, sir? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, good morning, students. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, teacher. Can you see the welcome screen? Can you see the screen, all of you? Start sharing them. It's not visible. Okay, can you see? Is it visible now? No, not it. Is it visible? No. Now it is visible. Okay. Uh, welcome students welcome to the english chapter that is autobiography of a great indian bustard so from standard 6 we are going to see 1.3 autobiography of a great indian bustard now what is autobiography can you Thing, what is autobiography? In many compositions, we have seen many, many of the autobiographies. Okay, so today we are going to see autobiography of a great Indian buster. Now, who is great Indian buster and what do you mean by autobiography? So, we are going to divide this word autobiography in three parts. So first part is auto, second part is bio, and third part is graphy. So can you see here autobiography? Auto means self, the things which we do self, okay? Myself. So whatever I'm going to do, that is self, that is called as auto. Now what is bio? Bio means life. Bio means life. So self-life. And graphy means writing. So I'm going to write about myself. Okay. So the lesson is about autobiography of a great Indian buster. So great Indian buster is going to tell us its story by himself. Okay. So self-learning, self-life writing. Autobiography. So story autobiography means it, it's nothing but story of my life. So this is a great Indian buster. Okay. So it's going to tell us about his story. Autobiography of a great Indian buster. So let's start with the story. See ya. Autobiography of a Great Indian Buster, which is the heaviest flying bird in India. Well, friends, it's me, the Great Indian Buster. I feel proud to be known as the Great Indian Buster. I have more than 30 different names in various Indian languages. In Marathi, I'm known as Maldhok or Hum. 
I can weigh up to 18 kilos and can stand up to 4 feet in height, reaching up to your shoulders or even higher. I have got a long white neck, brown wings, tall yellow legs and a black cape on my head. My wife, Mrs. Buster, is smaller and slimmer than I am and her neck is not white. But I have heard humans say that we both look impressive. Okay, so here let's talk about the great Indian buster. So who is the great Indian buster? Why we are, why he's, he's telling his own story? So he's asking, he's telling us which is the heaviest flying bird in India. So the heaviest flying bird in India is great Indian buster. Okay, so I feel proud to be known as great Indian. So this bird is, is being given as a name as great Indian. So what is great Indian? So why it is called as great Indian? Because it has 30 different names in Indian languages. Okay, so 30 different names. This one bird has 30 different names in Indian languages. So for example, in Marathi, we can say, we say this word as maldhok or it is said as whom and why it is the heaviest flying bird in the world in the in india because its weight up to 18 kilos no other bird in india has so much of weight so it has heaviest flying bird okay and it stands up to four feet in height four feet in height that means it is equal to a human shoulder okay it is equal to uh it is reaching towards the human shoulder or even higher than that okay so i have got and it's telling us that i have got a long white neck so you can see in the picture so it has long white neck it has brown wings tall yellow legs so the legs are tall and it is yellow in color and a black cape on my head so you can see the cap on on his head okay. Why is Mrs. Your wife is breaking this. So, so the name call it as Mr. Buster and smaller and slimmer than I am. Or smaller, we can see a smaller book look impressive. Impressive means beauty together look very beautiful. So here you can see still more pictures and the further explanation on this is I live on grasslands and deserts along with my friends including Chinkara, Black Bog and Larks. I will show you the pictures of Chinkara, Black Bog and Larks also. So where they live, where the buster live, they live on the grassland. Wherever there are grass and deserts, they live over there. Okay, with the other with their other friends, including Chinkara. So who are the other friends? Chinkara, Black Bog, and Lux. I eat everything. What does the buster eat? The buster eats everything, including snakes, lizards, small fruits and berries, and all sorts of insects. So what they eat? They eat snakes, they eat lizards, they eat small fruits and berries and all sorts of insects. That is a very healthy habit. So, okay. But the grasshoppers and beetles are my favorite food items. So out of this, uh, out of this animals, so what are the favorite food items of Buster is grasshopper and beetles. Grasshopper and beetles are his favorite food items. Okay.
when it starts raining we all gather at our favorite grasslands so whenever it rains heavily okay so they gather together on their favorite place that is grassland where there is where there are no people around to disturb them so here they don't have any people to disturb them okay i perform a wonderful dance so buster also uh, performs wonderful dance by gulping air in the special feathery pouch so below his neck we can see a feathery pouch okay so he gulps the air he takes in the air gulps means he takes in the air and he just just blow a feathery pouch which is attached on his neck his pouch helps me to produce a resonating sound similar to the one produced by the cow so after gulping air below his neck so he makes a sound which is similar to the sound that makes by the cow so what is the sound of the cow it's boom it's boom so it makes a similar sound like the cow after gulping the air in his neck okay i dance in joy with puff out feathers and cocked up tails and drop down wings so it's dance with joy okay and all his feathers comes up and his cock up tails tail also comes up and drop down wings it helps me to impress my soulmate so it impress mrs buster so you know that we birds lay eggs and our young ones hatch out eggs so all the birds lays egg right so mrs buster also lays egg so mother gib gib means great indian buster so gib means great indian buster lays just one egg directly on the ground so it doesn't require any place to keep so it just lay the egg it doesn't need nest for his laying his egg okay so so mother gib lays just one egg directly on the ground so it lays his egg on the ground not on the nest okay and we don't believe in building nest so they don't build nest they don't live on nest okay but we have a special trick to protect our eggs from predators what do we mean by predators predators means the enemies so enemies try to eat eat okay
so we have a special trick so can you hear me Can yes, you hear me, all of you? Okay, yes, okay, okay. We have a special trick to protect our eggs from predators. What do you mean by predators? Is it's it means enemies. So who are the enemies of little bustards that are in the eggs? So so they have a special tricks to protect their eggs. The eggs looks like a stone. So how it looks? It looks like a stone. So on the grassland, they easily keep their egg. Okay, like it looks like a stone, so they easily keep their uh, eggs on the grass. So the predators thinks that they will they will not touch my egg. So monitor lizards, foxes, dogs, pigs, snakes, and eagles are enemies of my egg and chick. So who are the enemies? of the eggs that are monitor lizards foxes dogs pigs snakes and eagles okay but my wife protects the egg from all of them okay so it looks like a stone so it easily they easily keep their egg on the grass so they don't need to keep on the nest by the time our young one hatches out the egg rains arrive there is plenty of grass swarming with insects fresh food for my family so young ones of other birds soon fly away from the nest so other birds like other birds the young ones they easily fly away they soon very soon they fly away from the nest but the great indian buster mother and chick stayed together for nearly one year so the Great Indian Bustard mother and the little one chick stay together for nearly one year. Okay, the chick learns many good habits from the mother. So they learn how we learn from how we learn good habits from our mother. So same way, the chick, the little chick, learns many good habits from the mother. You may have heard about the great human friend of ours, Dr. Salim Ali. Now, who is Dr. Salim Ali? So he he has done many research researches in the bird's life. Okay, so he has he had suggested that we should be given the status of the national bird of our country. So what Dr. Salim Dr. Salim Ali suggest us that we should keep national bird for the great indian buster okay but what happens you know who is the national bird of our country so the honor went to our beautiful relative the peacock the peacock looks beautiful so the honor went as a national bird to peacock okay but the but national bird for national bird award so who was there great indian buster also was there okay but they keep they kept national bird as a peacock i am happy to tell you that i am the state bird of rajasthan so you can see even if he has not got the national bird award but he is the state bird of rajasthan okay so rajasthan state bird is the great indian buster we have got 10 centuries for our protection but sadly our number is still going down so what happens so they have got 10 centuries centuries means the where the bird stays okay so where the bird stays they have got 10 centuries like this so we can if we want to see the great indian buster we can visit the centuries okay so but what they are saying is our number is still going down so day by day the we cannot see the great indian buster 
we used to live in all parts of india before that they used they used to live in all parts of india but slowly the growing population of man push us away from more than 90% of our home regions so what happens because of the growing population of man so day by day the population is increasing of human beings okay so because of that so the regions the, the place where they used to stay has went off and because of that because of that so the population of the great indian bustard is decreasing we are afraid of hunters that kill us for fun you know the some people who hunt animals birds for the for just the sake of fun they don't even think about the birds life okay so they just go and shoot up the birds so like this so because of the hunters who thinks that to kill uh, to kill birds it's a fun so we also die due to electric power lines see uh, you can see up you can see electric power lines so because of that the birds go and struggle up over there okay and because of that they lose their lives because they can't see while flying while flying they can't see so if power electric power comes in front then they can't see and because of that they lose their life we are losing our homes today only the last 200 of us are left in the world only the last 200 are left in the world okay we need your support so they are asking for help we need your support and love in order to survive so they need love to survive okay so can you help us so the bird is asking us can you help us will you help the bird will you help the bird to save their lives yes sir yes children yes yes teacher okay so
Okay, can you see over here? मैडम ते बैग्निफायर जवर एक दिस्ते ब्ले क्लिक करा ना वरती टॉप वरती मैग्निफायर कि सर दिस्ते का वरती एक पेन सारे एक मैग्निफायर सारे दिस्ते बाजूला ब्ले स्लाइड साइड शेरिंग बाजूला बेन्सिल वन टू थ्री थ्री नंबर च शेर ऐसी बाजूला तीन डॉट ऐसी बाजूला बहुत क्लिक करा ओके सो द बर्ड इज आस्किंग कैन यू हेल्प अस यू कैन राइट लेटर्स टू योर लीडर्स एंड मेक एन अपील टू हेल्प अस सो वॉट द बर्ड आर सजेस्टिंग टू अस इज यू कैन राइट अ लेटर टू द लीडर्स एंड मेक एन अपील फॉर अस वॉट डू यू मीन बाय अपील दैट we all all human beings should help these birds because some human beings for just just for the just sake for the, just the sake of fun they are just killing the birds so you can make my drawing and submit it to your teacher so as many as uh pictures you will draw so and you you should submit it to your teacher okay you can discuss this with your parents also come to see us at the sanctuary so what the birds are saying if you want to meet us you can come to our sanctuary and because now you will not see us in other places because we cannot see these birds on other places so we can just see these birds on the sanctuaries and who knows if humans don't help us none of us will be left on the earth if we don't help them so they will not live on this earth because there are hardly few of these birds are remaining right now so you will only see us in pictures so what they are saying is if you don't help us then you will only see us in pictures so one by one these birds are going away so we have to preserve them properly okay so what we can do is we can make appeals to leaders we can make we can make so much of drawings that we should tell we, we should uh, create ideas okay about these birds okay and we should uh, tell human beings we should tell people that we should not kill these birds okay so this is about the great indian bustard okay so the assignment for this is draw a picture of great indian bustard so you have to draw the picture okay and see if and the second assignment is prepare at least 10 questions to interview great indian bustard see if if think like this that great indian bustard is sitting in front of you and you are going to take his interview so what are the 10 questions you will ask him okay so prepare 10 questions you have to make 10 questions what you will ask to great indian bustard so you have to sit in front of the mirror and you should think that uh, opposite to me the great indian bustard is sitting and you should ask him the question okay so what you can ask him for example uh, for example uh, you, you you can ask them is do you dance wonderfully so he will answer yes okay so like this you have to make 10 different questions to ask mr buster okay that's all thank you children बाय टीचर बाय टीचर